Hey everybody, I have um, another chapter today from Wayside Stories. Here is BB. So that's what uh, chapter 6 is about, BB. BB was a girl with short brown hair, a little BB nose, totally tiny toes, and big brown eyes. Her full name was BB Gun, with two N's. She was the fastest draw in Mrs. Jewell's class. She could draw a cat in less than 45 seconds, a dog in less than 30, and a flower in less than 8 seconds. But of course, B.B. never drew just one dog or one cat or one flower. Art was from 12.30 to 1.30. Why, in that time, she could draw 50 cats, 100 flowers, 20 dogs, and several eggs or watermelons. It took her the same amount of time to draw a watermelon as an egg. Calvin sat next to B.B. He didn't think he was very good at art. Why, it took him the whole period just to draw one airplane. So instead, he just helped B.B. He was B.B.'s assistant. As soon as B.B. would finish one masterpiece, Calvin would take it from her and set down a clean piece of paper. Whenever her crayon ran low, Calvin was ready with a new crayon. That way, B.B. didn't have to waste any time. And in return, B.B. would draw five or six airplanes for Calvin. It was 12.30, time for art. B.B. was ready. On her desk was a sheet of yellow construction paper, and her hand was a green crayon. Calvin was ready. He held a stack of paper and a box of crayons. Ready, B.B.? Ready, Calvin, said B.B. Okay, said Mrs. Jules. Time for art. She had hardly finished her sentence when B.B. had already drawn a picture of a leaf. Calvin took it from her and put another piece of paper down. Red, called B.B. Calvin handed B.B. a red crayon. Blue, called B.B. He gave her a blue crayon. They were quite a pair. Their teamwork was remarkable. B.B. drew pictures as fast as Calvin could pick up the old paper and set down the new. A fish, an apple, three cherries, bing, bing, bing. At 1.30, Mrs. Jules announced, Okay, class, art is over. B.B. dropped her crayon and fell over on her desk. <sighs> Calvin sighed and leaned back in his chair. <sighs> he could hardly move. They had broken their old record. B.B. had drawn 378 pictures. Excuse me. They lay in a pile on Calvin's desk. Mrs. Jules walked by. Calvin, did you draw all these pictures? <laughs> Calvin laughed. No, I can't draw. B.B. drew them all. Well, then, what did you draw? Asked Mrs. Jules. I didn't draw anything, said Calvin. Why not? Don't you like art? asked Mrs. Jules. I love art, said Calvin. That's why I didn't draw anything. Mrs. Jules did not understand. It would have taken me the whole period just to draw one picture, said Calvin, and B.B. would only have been able to draw a hundred pictures. But with the two of us working together, she was able to draw 378 pictures. That's a lot more art. B.B. and Calvin shook hands. No, said Mrs. Jules, that isn't how you measure art. It isn't how many pictures you have, but how good the pictures are. Why, a person could spend his whole life just drawing one picture of a cat. In that time, I'm sure B.B. could draw a million cats. Two million, said B.B. Mrs. Jules continued, but if that one picture is better than each of B.B.'s two million, then that person has produced more art than B.B. B.B. looked as if she was going to cry. She picked up all the pictures from Calvin's desk and threw them in the garbage. Then she ran from the room. I thought her pictures were good, said Calvin. He reached into the garbage pail and took out a crumbled up picture of an airplane. B.B. walked outside into the playground. Louis, the yard teacher, spotted her. Where are you going? he asked. I'm going home to draw a picture of a cat, said B.B. Will you bring it to school and show it to me tomorrow? Lewis asked. <laughs> tomorrow? At laughed B.B. By tomorrow, I doubt if I'll even be finished with one whisker. Guess it sounds like she's really going to take her time now, huh? How many pictures can you draw? Can you draw as fast as B.B. can? Bye.